The world has changed, but this time the change is more subtle. You can see it, though, in the interaction between your companions. Their relationship, their conversation, even their quick glances and private musings seem more variable, less predictable. Time will tell. Stress will bring out the truth. But for now, the familiar sprawl, the librarian cackling in his madness of the burning library. Your companions have slew him many times before. Surely this time won't be so bad. Best to press on. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Loki Orn, and we are back at it in the experimental branch of uh, Darkest Dungeon 2 as we are taking out Highway Robbery. And I think we'll, we'll, go, we'll go grab the free candle. Uh, we're taking out Highway Robbery in the new um, Void Between Us uh, patch. And unfortunately, last time we did not trigger any relationships. I don't believe. Yeah, we did not trigger any relationships. So we're not getting to see the next stage of the relationship uh, mechanic. Hopefully we'll see it coming out of the next inn. Uh, but yeah, it's very, uh, very early. Uh, we are, we are managing to get, um, Edward and Audrey going in the same direction. Very much still continuing the approach of, uh, oh good, we have a friendly. Oh. Oh, that must, was that Tarantism? That must have been Tarantism. Well, okay. early tarantism but we do have the this positive relationship so we'll have to see how this goes i'm kind of wondering if maybe i do want to have like get repost in or something uh definitely also noticing um a little bit of improvement to the vfx it does feel the game's running maybe a little bit smoother hard to say for certain but of course you know this is the uh I don't want to say if it's a downside, but it's, you know, just kind of the, the nature of this formation is that it kind of naturally wants to build into something like this. So it's not really, we're not really locking them in place. Though, I might, if I give in to temptation and, and I get the, um, and I get the Dreaming General's um, trinket, I might make use of it lock them in because that can just mean continual um that could just mean continual pirouettes and point blank shots for the entire fight which uh is quite good you know 12 hp let's, let's just knock you to death's door nice okay uh but we could be doing continue like very much continuous um pirouettes and point blank shots which is definitely not the worst thing on the planet but for now we'll just end uh we'll end this fight actually getting to use pick to the face for once which is kind of fun there is the one problem that we are a venom drop nice we definitely want another clarifying poultice we definitely want that there is the one downside that we are a Venom Drop, so we kind of want to be getting into stealth and using Flashing Daggers. Oh, which, by the way, is causing two Blight, not one. So, let's... <coughs> let me pause for a moment. Let's put in Shadow Fade. Yeah, I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try this out, because this is something I'm I'm vulnerable to. I think a lot of players would be. Um, which is, you know, you kind of get stuck into the same ways. Uh, I kind of want to go to the question mark. Where, um, you know, you kind of, you play the same way every time. I know I'm guilty of it. I appreciate that, um, I don't, you know, it doesn't seem like, uh, doesn't seem like many folks call me on it, which is fair enough. I mean, as long as the videos are interesting to, to you all, I'm more than happy to keep making them. But comment section below if you do, if you do mind the notion of me kind of, playing 
if not the same way, at least in kind of a consistent way a lot of the time. You know, and if that is helpful and interesting, or if, you know, you'd like to see a little bit more, you know, variance. Uh, ooh. Now, we're going, we're going to the lair. We're not going to not go to the lair. It's worth a, uh, it's worth a candle. It's worth another candle for, uh, doing the watchtower. And the worst case is that Bragg is getting a little bit bent out of shape, which is fine. But yeah, you know, I, I'm going to try, I'm going to really try to make use of Venom Drop here. And I think, I think in addition, I am going to, I'm going to try, I'm going to get, try to get the Librarian's to, uh, Trophy in a sense, just because it's really good and I want to have it. But I want to experiment maybe a little bit with the Dreaming Generals. That, well, on second thought, maybe not, since we are a Venom Drop. We, Audrey wants to be able to move and having her Shadow Fade back is quite good because then she gets to just flashing daggers for a whole mess that's the second time tarantism is triggered we're really uh really getting the tarantism here yeah that's still that'll be okay so maybe maybe we won't well maybe i'll look for a, a new a better formation for that but we can we can buff up uh oh truth is we don't even have to move here do we to set up uh, retribution and get going. Uh, so yeah, maybe maybe what instead what I do is um, just try to make use of flashing daggers. Like really try to get away from the typical build. Yeah, that seems like fun. Unfortunately, this fight it's not gonna it's not gonna work because the the one the viable targets for flashing daggers are all dead. But it's the principle of the thing. Edward <laughs> blasting. Definitely seeing smoother animations, which is quite good. Um, definitely liking that. Let it die. Though I'm really, I really want to see like a blessing or a cursed skill and see what that does. Um, oh, I didn't even check my skills. I'm sure we're fine. Librarian's been giving us a bit, bit of trouble recently, but not that much. Um, yeah, well, I would like you to not be there, please. Thank you. Shadow Fade. And he actually, um, unfortunately, we still end up with kind of a scuffed, uh, a scuffed Venom Drop or a uh, target, but there we go. We can, uh, we can be a little bit, uh, I don't know if greedy is the right term, because it's not really greedy, but we can kill that corpse, and now now we have Venom Drop operating. I mean... Oh, don't you do that. Ow. Dead. Wonderful. No, I'm going to use Flashing Daggers. Bjaw! Got them both with Blight. That's something um, I kind of breezed through the, the highway robbery setup. Um, because, again, it's a variant of Unusual Suspects. But Venom Drop and Alchemist Plague Doctor together is quite a bit of blight. This whole having Audrey skip a turn is not my favorite thing. And I guess for certain, certain setups we may not want to. But there'll be quite a there'll be quite a few setups where I think we're perfectly happy to have Audrey effectively skip a turn to set up herself. Like you're not you're not dead, are you? Okay. Oh, it figures. Figures he gets moved back for point blank shot, which is unfortunate. Ow. Stealth is really punishing Edward there. That's okay, though. Okay.
little magnesium rain just to get rid of that corpse, which will hopefully set up more, uh, more, uh, daggers. Again, just being, just trying to make use of that skill. Uh, cause I do think, I do think the improvement to Venom Drop, which I don't know if I played, I don't remember if it was made in this patch or it's been improved before and I've just, you know, kind of finally gotten to, you know, finally, finally gotten around to playing it, but I do think it's going to be quite good here. We are gonna want to. Uh, we are gonna want to spend uh, spend some time healing uh, Edward, though. He has taken quite the beating. And there we go. Both at death's door. Uh, I will say the game, because we would have definitely gotten a positive relationship with uh, Edward and uh, Edward and Audrey there. Although, interestingly, Paracelsus doesn't seem to like that. Or we just haven't had any good ticks with Paracelsus here. Um, oh yeah, we stall. We get We can get another heal off here. Isn't that nice? 14 points of healing is pretty good. And for two points of damage, we will definitely take that. Here we go. Alrighty, what are we playing for? Strange Sapper, Sacred Scribblings. Oh yeah, Sacred Scribblings, another another one that's changed. Instead of plus one burn duration, it's plus two now. Which basically means it cancels out Charred Litany's effect and doubles the amount of burn you deal. So this is actually now a combo... For Magnesium Rain. And it's the Unabridged Edition. Alright, well. Not really what we're wanting. But, you know, we'll go ahead and uh, make use of it. Alright, what are we facing here? Alright, this is going to be a... Uh, we're going to be looking to uh, not point blank shot here. We'll save Shadow Fade for a future turn here. Because I think we want to hold the line, get set up. Hold the line also conveniently countering a uh, Categorize if it comes out here. Which, thankfully, it doesn't. Alrighty. So, we could kill these books. And I think we do. I think we get cute about it. We deny that first burning bright. Probably won't be able to deny the second one, and I don't know if we'd want to. Edward getting stressed out here. Now we can kind of settle into our normal uh, configuration here. Just start punching down the uh, punching down the bad guy here. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of tough to avoid at least one burning bright. But uh, Bragg is getting uh, getting a little bit stressed, which is unfortunate, but we'll make it work. Now we got basically three turns, two turns to make this happen. Okay, can't... Don't want to do any more than... Uh... Oh, jeez. Bragg's, Bragg's stress got out of hand in a hurry, didn't it? Well, let's get... Let's start getting that stress back down. Nice! Flashing daggers showing up. I mean, yeah, flashing daggers dealing two and then four when upgraded makes it... 
Makes it as good as Poison Dart. It just does a little less damage. There's that 25 point crit death door. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, wow, I didn't even see that. That was a... We got a positive... Um, a positive relationship tick there. And it was act, there was actually a flag for it that I didn't... I clicked too quick. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. Because um, that was a... Uh, that was good to know. Alrighty. Well, first of all, Paracelsus, let's go ahead and get those two in there. Um, we'll go ahead and put Strange Sapper on you. And... Uh, Put that on you too. Alrighty. So Bragg is stressed out to his eyeballs. Oh jeez. Um, I would rather. It's unfortunate because uh, Edward's stressed as well. But road battle, we should be able to get at least some stress healing done. And we've got we've got some stuff to remove and some relics to spend. Tarantism is kind of annoying me. Also, Edward's got Sanguine, so, you know. Boom. So, it's neutral. It doesn't do anything extra here. But we did get set up for a second one. Well, Edward continues to do just Edward things. Alrighty. I think we're gonna we're gonna spend the turn. Okay, good. The widow's gone. So now we'll take our free heal opportunity. Nice. 19 point critical. We definitely like that. And damn, bolster's down. You're gonna survive another turn though. So I do think we just wait. Nice dodge. That makes this a lot easier. Alrighty. So you just do that. There we go. Continue to uh, continue to improve our stress there. A little bit of laudanum, meditative totem. Okay, okay. Actually kind of can make use of that laudanum right now. Let's put that in on Paracelsus probably. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, death cap. Oh, so another interesting change. Some of the uh, combat items have changed. So no death cap spores is a noxious item that does death blow resistance and blight resistance. It's not very good. Linseed oil does movement resistance, fire resistance, and can... Um, and can add, excuse me, days. It's a little bit better. But still not very good. But we will, uh, we'll pop them in. Audrey got her hero goal done as well. What was that? Slay two gaunt. Wow. All we have to do is enter the Fodor and we've gotten all four of our candles. That's quite nice. Alright, so let's, let's see about, uh, cleaning up some of our negative traits here and, uh, Probably getting rid of Tarantism. It's it's not a terrible disease, but it does kind of annoy me. Um, well, actually, first of all, we've got 52, so hypochondria can just go away. I think, oh, I could lock in Hard Noggin, which is quite strong, or On Guard, which is also quite strong. But On Guard actually kind of interferes with... Um, Reverberating readout if we get it. So maybe we don't. Yeah, I think I'd rather get rid of Tarantism. Check for anything fun to buy in here. Restorative herbs, maybe. Oh, interesting. So neutralizing powders, which I assume clotting powders and ablative powders. So in addition to the burn resist, you also get an uncapped stress heal. 
So a minus one stress whenever you get a resist for three turns. So like, so like a Blade of Powders is suddenly decent in the um, Sprawl. <laughs> However, I, I still don't know if that's actually decent enough. Squeamish, Braggart. Kind of want to get rid of Braggart. Yeah, we'll just get rid of Braggart. All right, I think we're good. Let's hit it. Onwards, onwards to the uh, the hoarder. And then it looks like a uh, academic study, and then we're out of here. You're sure to you're sure to double cross me. Yeah, yeah. Starting to see some of the new little. Uh, keep an eye out for those because apparently there's a bunch of new ones. Uh, oh, that would have been nice. We wouldn't have been able to afford it anyway. On the other hand... Clandestine Cape... Is quite the... Ooh, wow, there's a lot of good stuff in here. So, Skeleton Sight. Gain on, a bleed, on any sort of dot resist. Minus two stress. Suddenly, Skeleton Sight is good. That is a very strong stress heal. Uh, so this is apply on hit. If flammable item is equipped, you apply two burn on hit. Plus 33% burn chance. But if you miss, you deal two burn to yourself. So. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So this would mean that Paracelsus is dealing burn and... Yeah. You know what? I'm kind of tempted by that. So it's what? So it's clandestine cape, which would let Audrey take advantage of um, her plus two blight dealt. Or we could grab tinderbox and just have, um, have a bunch of extra burn. I kind of want to do the... Yeah, I want to try this out. This seems really fun. So, Charred Litany isn't the best flammable. I think I kind of wish I had a different one. We'll keep Sacred Scribblings for now. Like, maybe Laden Lantern would feel a little bit better, but we can't have both. Um, none of the rest of this feels super impactful, so I think we just head out. Okay. Yeah, but this, so now Paracelsus, whenever she hits with Plague Grenade, with Magnesium Rain, she's going to be, de she's going to be dealing less burn. You know, she's only going to deal one round of burn. So instead of dealing two burn or six damage over three turns, she'll deal four damage over one turn. But there's also, there's also just the extra chance of damage, which I quite like. We're going to experiment. We're going to try stuff out. I resisted the burn. That's rude. We do have to be careful here. This sacrificial's coming coming in hard and fast. Now, granted, uh, Edward is right there to obliterate it potentially. Well, we tried. So flashing daggers deals as much damage as uh, or deals as much blight as um, blight dagger does now. You just dead? Yeah, you're probably just dead here. Oh, nice. So we got it. We got it with that was the tinderbox that applied that. Oh, interesting. So, Charred Litany does not interact with Tinderbox's um, effect. It, it didn't realize that. Because it, it had two, it had three turns worth of burn. Interesting. Still definitely like this. Mastery point and some basic loot. We'll take that. Oh, oops, sorry. Clicked off to my second monitor. 
Just updating something. All right, so overall a pretty convincing sprawl. And um, I do want to see... Oh, it's the painting. Look at this ugly guy. So probably just want to leave, I think. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, our relationships are starting to creep... Par Paracelsus's relationships are starting to creep uh, negative here. Unhelped by the stress, but it's most it's not even the act outs, because you notice we're not getting a bunch of act outs. Which is definitely picking up the pace of the game, which I don't hate. Um, but uh, you know, we're not getting any of those benefits either. That should be okay though. Ooh, that's cool. It's a new oh I get it. It's probably diff varies based on which one it is. So this is the sprawl. So you have kind of this red burning city effect in the background. Alright, I'm just going to get rid of one of those. Get rid of one of its dodge tokens off the cuff. Let's have you chill out. Good dodge. Altar of Denial. Um, while we're while we're in this fight, uh, you know, for those of you that have you know made it this far, that have watched uh, watched this far, um, I would like to hear your thoughts on me playing in denial uh, versus resentment or obsession. Not me being in denial. You know, that very funny, right? Um, so my my thought is that it can occasionally be a little boring if i'm always going to the same boss so i you know trying to you know at least kind of conceptually i'm trying to you know mix it up do do different um do different runs that's why we did that resentment run not that long ago and kind of in honor of the new um kind of in honor of the new uh patch i thought okay we'll go back to denial we'll go back to basics but I'd really like to hear uh, y'all's opinion about that. You know, would you prefer if I was always just focused on obsession? Like, is it, would it be better if I was constantly, if I was always pushing the higher end? Or, you know, alternatively, is there, is there an argument for I've beaten obsession a couple of times in a row? So clearly I can do that. So let's, let's do, you know, something else. Definitely want to hear your feedback. Uh, comment section below. So we just start working on punching through here. The altar is dead next turn. Because interestingly, it doesn't look like Chard Litany... Yeah, Chard Litany is not interacting with Tinderbox. Which is... Seems like kind of a negative. Probably not intended. I'll have to put in a little... Uh... Yeah, I can see. So this one's 4-1, but this is 6-3. So I don't know. Maybe it doesn't seem like it's interacting with Tinderbox. There's a uh, very nice flashing daggers. We'll take our free heal. Oh, we missed, so we don't get the heal. Oh, well. But we'll polish it off. Uh, is there any stress healing to be done? There is not. Cool. <coughs> nice, easy, clean cultist battle. I mean, it's it's the first first zone, right? So it's always a little bit on the easier side. Dark Impulse has changed slightly. It turns start if bleeding, one stress, 50% stress resist. I feel like it was different before. But not, not materially so. That's basically the same as what it was. Um, you've, already, you've already got a Strange Sapper, so we probably don't need another one. Ooh. Got two unfriendly and one friendly relationship. That's quite a... That'll be quite interesting. Let's uh, let's do our in. Let's see what shakes out of all this. Squirt. Ooh, Daredevil. 
Sluice Scrounger, which we might be going to a sluice, so that's quite good. Daredevil's not the best on Brag. Audrey Sprawl Tactician, and Edward got Shadow Burn. Oh man, if we could swap these, Shadow Burn would be so good on Audrey. Thankfully, we, we protected Sanguine, but uh, yeah. Or is it Shadow? Uh, I, I said Shadow Burn. It's Shadow Born. I'm sorry. Shadow Born. Nice. Cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and get our... Uh, may as well just pop the rest of this in here because there's no reason not to. Let's figure out where we're going. So, Tangler Sluice, we're going to go to the Fodor. Or, Tangler Fodor, um... I think we're gonna go to the Fodor. Um, this isn't a particularly interesting reward. The Dreaming General's trophy, we don't really want it. We'd rather have the Fodor's trophy. Plus, Creature Den's always fun. So yeah, we'll do that. Also has the Praise the Sun. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. Also has the Praise the Sun, which has changed, so it's now plus 10% resolute chance, which is quite nice. And let's go ahead and check our Provisioner. Got another block of pipe weed here. Nothing else sticks out, so I think we just grab both the pipe weed and we'll grab the healing salve for safety here. Oh, we don't have any food. That's what we don't have any of. Oh, well. Guess we're going to have to live without on that front. Let's go ahead and pop our playing cards here. See what this gets. Alrighty. So, Audrey and uh, Edward are pretty friendly. Bragg and Edward are getting pretty close. Man, uh, oof, wow. Keep both of those, but, um, yeah, that is a Erudite, maybe? Yeah, we'll just try to get rid of Erudite. Nope, we didn't get it. So now here's an interesting question. Do we try to punch Audrey... I think we do. I think we try to punch Audrey and Edward up to the next tier. I probably should be trying to correct a, a thing, but I think I'd rather... Oh, it's very friendly now. Likely to form a positive relationship. Versus this, which is unfriendly. Impossible to form a negative relationship. Um, I think we'll, we'll just keep the rest of these items. There's not really a reason to spend them. So we got three mastery points to spend. Um, let's see. Um, we're definitely going to behold the lining here. Let's get the flashing daggers upgrade. Because we want to make use of that. I'm going to make... I'm going to upgrade Shadow Fade as well. And then I think... Last upgrade will be Retribution. Kind of do some of the standard upgrades with the mix-in of Shadow Fade getting its upgrade. That actually has some utility in the Fodor. Alright, I think we're ready. So uh, let's go ahead and hit our rest and see what we win. Let's see what we got. Oh. So, interestingly, different formation here. This is actually them in order, which is kind of interesting. So, Edward leading the way. Getting ready to head out. So, Edward and Audrey triggered. They got a respectful relationship. Oh, Duelist Advance and Throne Dagger. So, two skills we're not using. Unfortunate. So, when, so the way this works is when Edward uses Duelist Advance, which is not insane for him to use. We can work that in. Audrey gets a Strength Token. When Audrey uses Thrown Dagger, Edward gets a Dodge Plus Token. Both are very good. Unfortunately, it also looks like we had a negative trigger. Oh, we had a second Respectful. Nice. Pistol Shot gives Bragg a Dodge Plus. Bellow gives Edward a... Um, a uh, strength token. All right, so unfortunately, none of the none of these blessed skills are really ones we were looking to make a ton of use for, but I do think it'll be uh, 
it'll be interesting. Maybe we'll try to work in Duelist Advance, I think, and maybe Thrown Dagger. Pistol Shot, I think, is on. Can I look at? I think Pistol Shot is on, Edward. So that at least has some utility. Bello really doesn't, but maybe we'll think about it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Let the YouTube algorithm know. Uh, I make content that you and people like you like to watch. Till next time, see ya.